Welcome to the Grano Shark Watch volunteer training video. Grano Shark Watch is a citizen science monitoring program that ultimately aims to improve the conservation management of the Grano Shark in Australia and to help the critically endangered East Coast population to recover. To do this, Grano Shark Watch engages and relies upon the community, you, to provide photographs of Grano Sharks. Photographs that are suitable to enable the identification of each shark by the unique spot pattern on their sides. I'd like to tell you why you should support Grano Shark Watch and importantly, how you can become an underwater hero and help one of Australia's most critically endangered species. Until the launch of Grano Shark Watch in 2011, there was no ongoing program to monitor their numbers through time. That is, while several population estimates ranging from 300 to 2,000 individual sharks were obtained, the research methods varied. This meant they could not be compared and no one knows if their numbers are still declining, are stable or are on the increase. Grano Shark Watch and your photos will contribute to the data gaps identified in 6 of 10 objectives of the 2014 National Recovery Plan for the species. For instance, data on their numbers and the population stability through time. Information on their distribution and movements at different stages in their life history. Your photos will enable the interactions with commercial and recreational fishing gear to be quantified along with their associated injuries and any shark recovery. It will help to identify new aggregation sites, increase public awareness and importantly, Grey Nose Shark Watch through your photos will provide good data for management purposes via an open and transparent mechanism that involves interested parties. Grey Nose Shark Watch is not just for divers. All stakeholders and the broader community can keep an eye on what we do through regular updates on our Facebook page and access more detailed information by joining Reef Check Australia. It's free and selecting yes to the I would like to register for the Grano Shark Watch program. Grano Shark Watch members can view our photo gallery and use the photo query function on our web page. For instance, let's take a look at all Grano Sharks with fishing gear. You can view higher resolution images by clicking on the thumbnails. If you are interested in individual Grano Shark movements and where they have been recorded from, you can click on shark locations or our shark tracking menu options. Grano Shark Watch needs opportunistic data and site custodian scheduled survey data to achieve its outcomes. The methods are essentially the same. You take photographs of the side of Grano Sharks to enable photo identification and photographic recaptures and you visually count the maximum number of Grano Sharks you see in one field of view during your dive. It is the quantity and the time dedicated to these tasks that vary. Opportunistic data means one or more side-on photos of Grano sharks and or a visual count carried out at any time of year. So you can make a difference with just one photo. Every photo counts as long as it is uploaded to the Grano Shark Watch website. In addition, to keep check of Grano shark numbers and to quantify interactions with fishing gear, Twice a year, within a two-month window during summer and winter, the Grey Nose Shark Watch team coordinate a more comprehensive survey and call upon site custodians to help us out. Any Grey Nose Shark Watch volunteer diver can be a site custodian. All you need to do is dedicate one or more of your normal dives during the survey period to count and photograph the sides of as many different Grey Nose Sharks as possible at one or more sites chosen by you. Let's take a closer look at the online Lodge Grano Shark Watch survey form. The first page records general information such as the dive site and date. In fact, this is the only information you must fill out on this page. However, any additional information is very beneficial. If you do not see any sharks at a site where Grano Sharks are normally observed, please still complete a survey. This is very important information and all you need to do after selecting the site and date of your dive is tick the No Shark Sighted box and then the Finish button. If you are a site custodian and successfully dedicated your dive to taking photos of as many Grano Sharks as possible and conducted a visual count of the sharks present, here you would tick the Site Custodian Survey box before moving to the Visual Grano Shark Count page. 
Volunteers hoping to carry out a site custodian survey can nominate for upcoming surveys when you first register to the Grano Shark Watch program or at any time in the edit details section. Nominating helps us ensure that as many Grano Shark aggregation sites as possible are surveyed. It is not compulsory and it can be amended at any time. If you did not count any Grano Sharks, but you took photos of one or more sharks, you can skip the second page and click on the Photographs tab to upload your photos. Let's have a closer look at how best to collect and enter your Grano Shark count data. You can see the grey nose shark categories are broken down into male and female and by their size range from less than one metre to greater than three metres. In addition, you can record the number of grey nose sharks you saw in each category with fishing gear. It is important to note that if you are not sure of the gender of some of the sharks or their sizes, to use the unknown boxes provided, please don't guess. If you did not take any suitable photos of grey nose sharks, please click the finish button and then OK, you have completed your survey. If you have taken one or more grey nose shark photos, please click the Photographs tab, then add your photos, navigate to your photos and select them, click Open and your photos will be uploaded. Please do not close the form or log out of the website until you click Finish. A total count of the number of grey nose sharks observed in a single frame of view is best achieved from several metres above the sharks when you first reach their location before you descend to the substrate below, if visibility permits. However, their size and gender are easier to estimate when you are at their depth or below looking up. To differentiate a male from a female, you must look underneath the shark at the pelvic fins. Male claspers extend from the pelvic fins, as shown here, and females do not. In newborn and first year grey nose sharks, it can be very difficult to see their claspers unless you are directly underneath the shark. A tip for estimating the size of grey nose sharks is to know the length of your dive buddy. Don't forget to account for their fins and compare their length to the total length of the grey nose shark, nose tip to the tip of their tail fin. A suitable grey nose shark photo is one where the shark is side on or perpendicular to the camera not head on to the camera, and where the spots are visible, not blurred, covered by fish, etc., such as the ones you see here. Understanding a little bit about typical grey nose shark behaviour and abiding by the regulations and etiquettes for diving with these magnificent sharks will enhance your interactions with them and also your photographs. When congregating at a site, grey nose sharks typically have a circuit they repeat so you don't have to chase these sharks, nor do the regulations at many sites allow you to do so. If you have selected a good position, not in the middle of their circuit, they will swim right past you, often getting closer and closer, as they are naturally very inquisitive. The best position is usually at the edge of a gutter or pinnacle. Once in position, you and your dive buddy should remain as still as possible and as close to the substrate as possible, without damaging it, and remain in a horizontal, not vertical position. Wait for the sharks to come to you and pass you by in slow succession, one by one. On behalf of the Grey Nose Shark Watch team, I would like to thank you for taking the time to learn more about Grey Nose Sharks and how you can help them by participating in our program. In particular, we are indebted to our volunteers and site custodians. Without you, there would be no data for our team to use to help ensure good information is available to guide the best management regimes for this critically endangered shark. We look forward to working together with a common goal to facilitate the successful recovery of the grey nurse shark in Australia.